Hey guys, it's John here from Horror Fiend Reviews and today is day 20 of the 31 Days of Horror. Today, we're going to be talking about Dead Snow 2, Red vs Dead. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Much like I did with Pet Cemetery, I recently changed this from uh, one title to another. Uh, I did originally plan on uh, doing a review of Salem's Lot. Again, it's not something I could find very easily, so, and I, I, again, I didn't want to have to download it, I'm not a big fan of doing that, so I just decided to change the title, and today I've, I've chosen Dead Snow 2, Red vs Dead. The reason I did that is just because I don't have a lot of horror, I don't have a lot of horror comedies on this list, and this is one that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I love the first one, the first one's not as comedic, it's very serious, it's a great zombie movie, some of the, some of the death scenes are very funny, I mean, a Nazi soldier, Nazi zombie, busts his hand at the snow and grabs the guy by the by the dick and just yanks. So I mean, some of them are pretty graphic and pretty out there, but they are all tame compared to Red vs. Dead. So this movie picks up almost immediately after the first film does. It follows Martin from the first movie. His, him and his friends go to this log cabin, find this treasure, turns out it's Nazi gold, and after they've taken it, they then find out that they've released these Nazi zombies. At the end of the, the first one, he then gives back all the Nazi gold, they shake hands and go their separate ways. The second movie starts off almost instantly. Turns out that actually there was one uh, gold coin hidden or like stuck in part of his clothes that he wasn't aware of. It then falls out when he's driving away from, from where it was originally. And then a leader of the Nazi zombies, uh, Herzog, who's the commander, he then rams the side of this van. He tries to like kill him and get the gold back. They then collide with this oncoming car and there's like a huge car accident. Martin then wakes up in hospital. He's like covered up. He's handcuffed to the bed. Just because of the events of the first one, it's believed that He's actually killed all of his friends. Uh, they don't believe the whole zombie story, obviously, because it's ridiculous. We then find out that he'd lost his arm in the accident and had then reattached it. Turns out they actually sewed on Herzog's arm onto his. So he's got this like crazy superhuman strength Nazi zombie arm, which to begin with is like crazy out of control. But this kid sees him in the hospital. He takes a picture of his arm and sends it to this group in America called the Zombie Squad, who then fly over to Norway or Iceland in order to to check it out. But the uh, the leader the, the the leader of the Zombie Squad is actually Martin Starr who, if you've seen Freaks and Geeks or Silicon Valley, he plays the tall, wanky guy with uh, with glasses, typically. And he pretty much plays the same here. It, it goes on and finds out that he's got this superhuman power to bring back the dead with this one arm. So what they, they then stumble on this museum and find that the Nazis, mortal enemies, I guess, the town that they took over, actually belong to the Russians so he then finds where the Russians are buried and then brings them all back to life and they have this like crazy crazy fight and I mean some of the death scenes are absolutely amazing like it's one of the zombies um, they rip out someone's intestines and use it to siphon gas from a bus into a tank. I mean, who even thinks of that? I mean, it's, oh, it's just, it's so funny. The dialogue's great. The characters are great. The action is incredible. Some of the death scenes are hilarious. And the last scene of this movie, it's just a left turn into God knows where, just this crazy sequence that you have to see it to believe it. Put it that way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil that part. This is definitely a movie to check out. It's so funny. It's so gory, and it's incredible. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you seen any of the Dead Snow series? Would you want to see a third one? Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Horror Fiend Reviews, and I will catch you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram down below. And also, just off to the side, I've got one of my friend's YouTube channels there as well if you want to give them a check out as well. But this has been Horror Fiend Reviews, I've been John, and I'll catch you later.